Okay guys, um, sometimes when you talk about running, a lot of people don't want to do it because you know, there's a few concerns, right? They don't want to injure their knees and ankles, uh, their backs, um, or it's boring, okay? So I got a couple solutions for you for both things. Now number one, if you want to talk about the proper running technique, okay? Now you can see my shoes here, see them? But you got no raised heels on them, okay? They're flat. So it's very similar to running uh, in bare feet, which I do sometimes too. But I don't want to do it right now because uh, I don't know, there might be broken glass or something. I, I'm not too crazy about uh, taking that kind of risk. Okay, so I have to have shoes on, but I have shoes which mimic barefoot movement, okay? And when you run barefoot, what you want to do is you don't want to have a, a hard heel strength like that, right? You want to land in such a way that when your foot lands, at this moment, my body is actually a straight line, vertical. Even leaning forward a little bit is okay. Okay, that's how you want to be. And so the action is more of a push off with a ball of your feet. Okay. So when when I when I run when when uh, when you run in barefoot style, it looks a little funny, uh, different from what you're used to because there's a kind of this this rolling, almost like a gliding motion. It looks kind of funny actually sometimes compared to what you're used to. That kind of long striding pounding running but this kind of running when you push off with the ball of your feet and that gliding motion is much much easier on your joints and is how we're meant to run okay so that takes care of the the um the injury side of it now as far as making it fun and less boring you know because i mean just going a straight line you know for kilometer after kilometer you know it does get boring after a while so what do you do you break it up forward movement okay forward running okay backward running, and then shuffles, side to side, okay? And just alternate them, you even do zigzag patterns, you can do all kinds of things like that, okay? So I'm gonna just do a little uh, running uh, here, okay? Down the field, and I'm just gonna do some stuff. I'm gonna try to go not too far so you can see what I'm doing, okay? So usually I'll start off with a bit of a Qigong, okay? Um, so just, it doesn't need to be a lot, um, you know, it depends. You, it's it's it's, a, it's up to you how much you want to do, okay. But with my clients, we always do at least a few minutes of it. Right? Make sure we uh, you know open things up. So for starters, you can do something. Like breathe in, breathe out. Come to the ground. Inhale here. As hell as go down to the ground. Do some waist rotations. Rolling the ball, the chopping, the inhale. See. It's everything won't go in here. All the joints going here, lubricating, your breath, everything's moving around, everything's circulating, you're learning your root. Okay, now before we start running, usually you do a bit of uh, jumping. So just do some jumping jacks first, okay? Careful guys. Okay, side to side. You got, come on, be careful, come on. <laughs> Shuffles. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna run straight down, I'm gonna run straight back, I'm gonna go backwards, I'm gonna do some side steps and uh, mix it up. We'll see what happens, okay? Spontaneity sometimes uh, is the name of the game, right? You have a plan, but sometimes things happen according to the mood, the weather, who knows? Uh, just have some guys horsing around over here, so I might have to 
deal with that too. I, I hope not. So, anyways, okay, here we go. I'm gonna run here. Hey. That Chico breathing is still in play here. Backwards now. So it came backwards. I also did some side to side. Okay, now just gonna go forward again. This time zigzag a bit. See? Okay, there you go. So, just trying to uh, combine a bit of everything, okay. Now, in between rounds. See now, my breath is normal again. Qigong brings it right back down. So you bring it up, bring it down. So, um, well, after turn this off, I'm gonna do that a few more times, okay? But that's uh, one way, it's kind of like uh, interval training, you know? <clears throat> go to the back and forth, down the field, or wherever you wanna go, and just mix it up. We do the straight, backward, side steps, and uh, zigzags. Mix them up and uh, you, you won't get bored. So. Next time you want to go for a jog, you don't need to just uh, go straight and, you know, and make so monotonous, you know, you can mix it up and have a fun with it, right? Sometimes too, if I'm walking, I will do the Qigong as well. I will, you know, I'll be whatever, but just say I'm running, I'm doing side steps, I'll stop and then I'll just do some Qigong for a minute. And then I'll go again, so I'll, I'll just do that. Uh, for whatever length of time, uh, distance I, I want to go. I, I'll often go for five, six kilometers, just alternating, running, uh, qigong, uh, maybe some speed walking, you know, just alternating, you know. But, but those four minutes of running, the forwards, backwards, side step, zigzag, those are my favorite ones combined with the uh, qigong, okay? So anyways, I find this is a, a great, great cardio workout. And uh, if you do, do the Qigong as well, it helps to uh, build some uh, skills and also some uh, rooting and other health benefits uh, to it as well, okay? So, anyways, if you like this uh, video, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my uh, Facebook page at inhometraineroakville.com and also my website, www.chriswongfitness.com. So, thank you. See you soon.